G'day all. Recently I built a outdoor decking setting for the handbrake, aka the XYL. And uh, so I built all that. And then we had a problem with uh, the dogs getting in there, jumping on the um, pillows and stuff. And we got a dog that just sheds hair and been a pain in the ass. So I thought that I'd use some old uh, guy wire I had left for, from doing the tower. Uh, just to use it as a sort of fence line and uh, so I've done all that and as you can see well hopefully it's come up pretty well but then another idea occurred to me I could actually turn that wire into an antenna and that's exactly what I have done and I've been amazed at the results whether it works good been so low to the ground I don't know. I know one thing's for sure to be a great receiving antenna. Um, but so I've turned it into a off center fed dipole as such. A uh, bit of mucking around, but I'll go through what I did. Uh, I'll show you the results on the analyzer. And then a bit later, maybe I'll see if I can make some HF contacts. Now it's like the, uh, the 11th of uh, May and there's some big, huge uh, solar storm heading our way uh, today and this evening, so I'm in Perth, and apparently uh, if we go somewhere up in the hills, which aren't really big, they're not mountains or anything by any means, they're just hills, and look south, hopefully there's no uh, cloud, which I don't think there is, we'll just have a quick look around. No, no cloud in the sky, beautiful day uh, in, uh, I suppose, well, we definitely are in autumn now, or fall, however you wanna call it. Yeah, we might go and have a look to see if we can see the uh, southern aurora or the southern lights. They reckon we should be able to see them. So it's not something you see very often. You can go see them down in Albany, which is about 450, 500 kilometres or about, what, 380 miles uh, south of Perth. But anyway, let's get back on to this off centre fed dipole and uh, I'll show you what I've done. So you can see the three strands of wire. It's 3.2mm gold wire. I did use it as guy wire for my tower and I had a bit left over as everyone does. And I thought, well, maybe I can use that. So we'll just quickly walk in here, have a look what we've done. Uh, this is the last section here of the dipole. All I've done is made little jumper cables. And um, I've been mucking around with the different lengths of where they go on the wire. And yeah, some of the results are absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, it's been a real eye-opener, so that's what I've done. I've just used little jumper wires between. It's all stainless steel wires, stainless steel hardware. Come around the back here, so this is the, uh, the long, longer length of the off-center fed dipole, and down here is my ground as such. Not much to it. And here we have um, the, uh, the isolator and down into my little MFJ analyzer. And then I'll quickly go through and show you the results and which after a bit of mucking around, I found absolutely amazing. Okay, we're back at the analyzer. What we're gonna do, I'm just gonna scan between one meg and 28 megs by memory. I've got it set at the moment. And then we'll go through the individual bands and see what's happening in regards to where it's resonant. And off we go. Hopefully you can see this okay. Bring it as fast as I can. So as you can see, there's one huge dip there. And as we climb up towards 15 meters and everything, yeah, off it goes. I'd, I haven't tried to really check it for uh, resonant on 10 meters. All I wanted to do is get it any, anywhere resonant on seven meg and 14 meg or 40 meters and 20 meters. So what we'll do, we'll go do a return and we'll do single, currently set at 14. And let's have a check. So at the moment, hopefully everyone can read that. It's set at 14 decimal 200. And let's see what it's at. So as you can see, the SWR is virtually one to one impedance of, well, virtually 50 ohms, which is incredible considering what 
I've just done and what wire I've used and it's 3.2 mil, mil thick stainless steel wire mind you not cop, you know not copper or anything like that just normal guy wire okay so we'll stop that one and what we'll do we'll just bounce it up to 15 and let's drop it down to 40 meters um, I don't this I, by memory I don't think this one was spot on this one needs a bit of work but I predominantly want to use uh, 40 meters tonight uh, 20 meters tonight not 40 and uh, let's see what it, SWR is okay one to six uh, the impedance is up slightly if I start moving it around let's see where it so uh, towards the end of the band yeah it drops down okay so we're really resonant around six decimal eight seven yeah, six, six decimal eight megahertz. So that's not bad. Um, if I get on um, 40 meters later, I'll probably be up around here. Uh, so yeah, two is fine. The uh, tuner and the uh, the radio will be able to take care of that. I have noticed that if I quickly undo one of these clips, you'll see the SWR bounce out straight away. And if I move it, depending on where I move it on the on the cable, I get a better result. But what it does, it also knocks out 20 meters. So I'll probably just drop that back to where it needs to be. Um, somewhere around there, uh, back a bit. Yeah, I can live with that. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully everyone can read that. So that's on 40 meters and as I said, we'll just bring that back, have a look, and then we'll go to 14 meg, 20 meters, oops, sorry, uh, 100, 200, that's sort of where you need to be in the middle of the band. And it's one, to, well, it's one to one. I'm not gonna worry about that. Look, at, and uh, if I take that wire cape jumper off and move it around, it will go up. And then it will drop down so that's where i'm at so a bit later tonight hopefully everyone can read that probably a bit better look at the swr oh i couldn't get any better than that than you tried so there we go all right on the next one let's see what i can do with some contacts okay so just a, a brief overview of what i've done so i've used a off center fed dipole isolator from uh radio waves uh so i've just used that um, yeah and here is my ground sorry about all that stuff so that's all i've done i've just used two jumpers there i've done a jumper on the earth side to that and here is my active i suppose you want to call it you can see two jumpers there and you can see that i've got two jumpers there and these are the two jumpers right here that aren't that far away from the main connection that were I used to really nail down the SWR on 20 and 40 meters so then quickly just get around down here there's another jumper there in the corner you know it's 14.7 meters long by about 2.7 meters wide and there's another jumper there there's some more jumpers that I used so basically this is the uh, positive you know, obviously, off center fed, you've got to have a certain length of the active versus the negative or the ground. Um, so that was a bit of mucking around, but I've got that. As we come down through here, we've got the one through the gate and one near little Elfie here. And that was the last one. So basically, that's what you see. And that's where I've got uh, everything joined up. So a bit later, uh, well, probably in a little while, depending um yeah i'm going to hook up the radio and i'm just going to see what i can i can achieve what i can hear i, I assume i'll be able to hear a fair bit not it's not going to be anything you know out of the blue or you know like well s9 you know plus or anything like that it's just an experiment i just want to see what this this wire can do in regards to an antenna in regards to you know like you can do anything if you want to no matter where you are whatever your situation 
you can improvise and adapt to make an antenna to work. Um, I'm in a little bit of a dip here where I am. So um, the old analogy of hide and bite, everything like that, yada, yada, yada. Um, but I expect to um, see if I can at least hear some decent stations, if not, um, make some contacts. All right, I'll be back.